Hello students, your instructor here at John Mandela with another screencast. This one using Adobe Illustrator. And um, I made some guides in the background. You can see the kind of like dotted blue here. Uh, five columns of guides. I made another video about how to make uh, quick column guides in Illustrator. Uh, but this one is going to focus on how to make new pages. So let's say I was going to make a multi-page layout uh, in Illustrator. And I think to myself, gosh, I really like how I have a guide set up here. I like kind of the colors and the, the fonts and the arrangement that I'm using. I would love to not only make new pages or new artboards, but also copy all of the, these elements so I can mix and match and rearrange them around. So I always have a kind of a good template to start with. Um, I'll show you how quickly and easily you can accomplish this. So first I'm just going to zoom out quite a bit. I'll go about there. I'm just going to drag another page to the left here. You, of course, can go top to bottom or however you want to arrange them. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to View, Guides, and I'm going to, I normally have my guides locked. I'm going to unlock my guides. So I'm going to grab my artboard tool here. You see, as soon as I do that, since this is the only page that I have, or the only artboard that I have, it's going to select. If I had more than one artboard, I would just click on this artboard to select it. Now that I've got selected, I'm going to hold Alt and Shift. If I was on a Mac, I would hold Option and Shift. And just drag to the, to the right here. And I'm going to get not only a new artboard, you can see they're numbered now, 01 and 02. But it's actually going to have all these elements and even the guides because we unlocked the guides. So those are able to drag over as well. Now if I go to my black arrow here, I can see that it's working here. Now, probably what I probably want to do now, if I don't want to make a page right away, is go to Guides and lock the guides back again so I can't actually select those. Now I have a great thing to start with. I think, well, if this is my first page of a newsletter, I wouldn't need, you know, the masthead area anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Maybe what I do is I take this line and bring it up there. And this line goes up close to it like so. Something like that. And again, now I have a nice base. Maybe this time I don't want a big drop cap. I want to take my two columns of text and move them this way or something like that. You know, have this column be taller. Whatever. I have now, with the artboard tool, made another page that has all the same objects that the first page had. So I have a nice starting point. If I want to erase all them, I certainly can do that. But at the very least, I'm still going to have my nice guides to use. So whatever grid system you use on one page, you're going to want to use that same grid system on the next page for your layouts, whether it's the first page, your regular article page, or the last page. That's how you do it. Goodbye.